Hey guys, so it's been a few months since I updated my NFT adventure, uh, so I thought I'd do a little video. Um, still buying them on Magic Eden. Um, I've sort of been mentioning when I've been buying Sol uh, that I've put most of it into NFTs. Uh, I have bought 20 Sol and not bought anything at the moment, it's just sort of sitting in the wallet. Uh, so where I've sort of shown 100 and I think 148 sol uh, in my crypto video, uh, I haven't invested about 23 of that. Um, but yeah, still mostly sort of buying on Magic Eden. You can see here uh, they still are sort of the vast majority of uh, volume in Solana NFTs. Um, OpenSea, as you can see, have uh, entered the market. They're sort of the largest NFT platform in the world, but for sort of Ethereum, uh, they opened um, Solana support and have sort of started to grow, but uh, they're still third. Not sure how much they're going to really sort of push Solana, but so a lot of people obviously annoyed with the fees still on uh, Ethereum. Would have thought they would sort of push Solana a little bit more, being much cheaper, uh, especially considering the uh, proof of stake merge on OpenSea has been sort of, or on Ethereum has been pushed back. So that's going to be sort of not uh, June as expected. And they're probably talking sort of September. Some people have even said towards Christmas. So yeah, I think Solana is still sort of a decent place to be to be buying and do most of that on Magic Eden. So just having a look at some of the projects I was in um, beforehand. So uh, Cine Soul, um, it's sort of a, a film art project. This was at 0.03 Sol, uh, floor before. So not, uh, not the most popular of projects. And to be honest, even though it is 0.04 floor now, uh, I sort of am considering this to be a, a dead project, basically. Uh, there's been no sort of volume uh, of any note sort of recently, and the devs, I don't think, have been sort of on Discord or active doing anything for about three months now. So that's a shame. Um, as I say, sort of I said before, it was an art project, so you're not expecting sort of a huge amount to be... Uh, used from this but you would hope that the developers at least uh, sort of are there and sort of supporting and promoting the project um, but yeah there you go I didn't put sort of a huge amount into this uh, although I do hold quite a few but yeah I expect if I were to sort of list all of mine even for you know 0 0.03 they probably wouldn't sell so I'm just going to keep them they might uh, developers might sort of come back one day or the project could even get taken over by someone else so yeah that's a shame but uh, win some you lose some um, what else do we have the so yeah that's just more cine soul talk uh, the baby yodas yeah I, uh, I haven't looked at those to be honest I sold all of those um, probably should have been a bit more uh, Maybe a bit naive, thinking sort of this could really, uh, really have legs, being sort of a, essentially a Disney copyright issue from the start. Uh, I think if this ever got big, then uh, obviously Disney would have probably come down on it pretty hard, as it is sort of not even a, uh, it's not even sort of similar to uh, Yoda. It's basically a copy of Yoda. So, yeah, that was never really going to do too well so I sold those at a loss and uh, yeah not too uh, too bothered to see the back of those um, Metabirds so this is an interesting one I was sort of uh, nearly 10 times up on uh, on the original video this was sort of 0.25 sol I think in the first video and sort of went to 2.2 um, off the back of sort of the game uh, releasing, it was sort of a, a flappy bird tile uh, type game. If you'd ever played that on the phone, sort of a, had a very sort of short-lived but extremely addictive uh, player base. 
and uh, yeah that sort of did really well and this is sort of a pretty much a copy of uh, of that game and it's sort of been demo released uh, but they are sort of um, releasing a a platform of multiple mini games um, the Metabird sort of Flappy Bird game is going to be one of those games but they're also introducing a sort of crossy road style game uh, an endless runner and a sort of uh, tile uh, if you've seen the 2048 game sort of sliding tile puzzle type game um, but they are releasing a new uh, NFT collection uh, called Voyagers so that's sort of going to uh, take up a great deal of the development from what I gather and sort of obviously it's going to be a new a new mint um, you're entitled to sort of mint those from holding a Metabird's NFT but yeah that was sort of I was hoping these were sort of going to be the main token for all of those games and they've now said that isn't going to be the case so yeah these have dropped down quite a bit uh, obviously nowhere near the sort of naught point two five that I was originally at but yeah I didn't sell any sort of in the in the run up sort of two sol or more so that was a shame maybe I should have uh, taken profit a little bit more but I bought quite a few more of these um, just the uh, the platform seems quite good the demo is is live and they have airdropped uh, some of the token that they're using for the platform so I do hold um, sort of Quite a few thousand of the uh, of the token uh, it is listed on Coin Market Cap actually uh, the Nest A token. So in addition, I guess to my uh, Sol Solana value, I've also got those tokens uh, amongst a few other projects tokens. So yeah, it's a, an interesting one. Uh, obviously, way down from the last video, but still in profit and sort of. I think it's a, a reasonable hold, and I will probably uh, use a bit of Solana to mint the new uh, Voyagers collection when it comes out. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, SGF United. So this was sort of the, uh, in my first video, this was a 2D beat-em-up game, and in the second video they were pivoting to a sort of augmented reality shooter, um, but essentially, sort of since then, not a great deal has happened. Um, they're sort of updating these uh, NFTs to a sort of much more, uh, much more decent-looking 3D NFT, but um, they seem to be sort of putting a bit more focus on that than I would uh, prefer. I would sort of rather the game um, got a lot more focus. Uh, maybe that is being worked on. In the background and they're just sort of not uh, not really announcing too much but yeah there seems to be a hell of a lot of uh, announcements and sort of sneak peeks and stuff about the the new 3d collection which we're supposed to be getting airdropped um, but yeah there isn't sort of a huge amount of news about the game which uh, they're saying the the new 3d uh, collection is going to be 20,000 token supply which is a hell of a lot, sort of a lot more than most, um, sort of most of the popular collections. Really, I haven't really seen much of any. Probably, sort of a handful of get of collections that are twenty thousand supply. So, going to have to be pretty uh, world beating to sort of maintain a decent price with that amount of supply. But we'll see where this one goes. Um, Hold sort of another few months, I expect, and uh, hopefully the game will be out. Hoping the 3D collection should be out sort of maybe in the next month to six weeks, and we'll get airdrop those with any luck. Uh, what else do we have? So that was SGF United. Uh, we have 00RR0R which was sort of a launch pad project. Uh, so people sort of use this service to uh, help launch their own projects. 
and sort of as part of the payment for that they buy uh, one of these nfts and they get burnt so uh, it comes down from 1600 to sort of 1500 over time 1400 and just sort of increases the rarity um, which was quite nice but uh, the sort of issue with this is a lot of other projects are sort of doing the same thing uh, launching providing sort of a launch pad service for other projects and so sort of obviously you've got um, magic eden launch pads um, various other sort of services and um, marketplaces that are offering sort of launch pad services so i think there's just too many of those services for this to be um, particularly popular so it sort of dropped off a little bit um, not uh, not in the red uh, it's I mean it's 0.11 sol it was uh, 0.12 sol before here um, although there is only one listed at 0.11 and then it's uh, 0.14 so you could say it's pretty much up but again sort of if I were to dump all of mine on the market trying to sell uh, I expect they would probably struggle to sell at this price. So I think the developer is sort of looking to pivot in uh, strategy in some way and sort of maybe try and take it in another direction. Uh, still very active. So yeah, that's an uh, unusual project, I guess. Um, and then we have... Yeah, so that was that was his project. Uh, Vishiv or Vishvi um, so this is the sort of space um, sort of elite dangerous type um, game sort of P at the moment it's a player versus computer sort of single player um, shooter game uh, sort of in space controlling your individual spacecraft uh, but they are looking to add sort of player versus player um, deathmatch style games <clears throat> and yeah part of the sort of issue with this so this was 0.8 sol um, when I showed it last time and this has come down to 0.28 sol so they've had a little bit of uh, development issues and they were looking to sort of on top of the or as part of the player versus player uh, battles they were looking to sort of have an in-game casino uh, so that we could sort of you can play various uh, slots games and that sort of thing sort of standard casino games but sort of the the bullish thing was betting on the uh, pvp matches of other people um, and the developers have sort of not come up to scratch of the uh, lead projects um, standards basically so the sort of it was third party developer has been let go um, and they are sort of looking to replace them and sort of finish off the casino so it's been a bit of delay on the project and sort of the uh, the lead developer on the project has sort of taken that quite harshly and there sort of hasn't been a huge amount of update recently but uh, yeah still quite bullish on this so I've been buying the uh, the games playable uh, it seems all fairly good um, people sort of compete weekly for uh, for a prize sort of top scores in the just in the single player uh, mode for now but yeah still so sort of, as I would have thought potential I don't think the uh, the devs are going to just walk away so we'll see um, and then so that was all the ones that I shoe previously that was pretty much all of the projects that I was sort of mainly in um, I have bought into uh, one or two new ones I've been buying some sort of just plain uh, art projects sort of similar to uh, Cine Soul really but just uh, sort of generative artwork um, and sort of they've done okay um, but another fairly big one that I would this is probably the most expensive one that I've bought into um, so this was a sort of rug pulled project, uh, the original sort of Balloonsville, um, and I think Magic Eden sort of promoted it a fair amount, um, and then sort of the 
developers quite openly uh, announced basically that they were running off with the money and sort of Magic Eden got a lot of uh, bad publicity for this so yeah they um, they decided to derug it if you like put uh, one of their um, I believe one of their employees and two sort of quite high profile developers uh, in charge of the project and they gave it 5,000 Solana as sort of a treasury fund um, and people sort of got refunded if they minted and they wanted a refund so yeah everyone sort of largely um, had a positive outcome out of it and uh, yeah so I sort of decided to buy in largely because it was sort of it would seem pretty much too big to fail now um, obviously Magic Eden would get an enormous amount of uh, poor publicity if this were if something were to happen to this again and uh, sort of 5,000 sol in the treasury which they have now been putting to work and they've sort of implemented a staking um, sort of going for a metaverse uh, sort of building type project not doesn't really look like a game as such more just sort of um, a sims like a building um, you'll have a house which I've started building so a balloon home uh, but yeah it's sort of interesting to see whether they're what they're exactly going to do with it they've been discussing a sort of play to earn game um, but doesn't seem to be approved by the community so doesn't look like that's going to go ahead but yeah that's pretty good when I so when I first bought into this this was about 2.2 sol on average and I bought four so yeah that was sort of a fairly big investment for me I haven't really paid sort of over over one sol for any other of the uh, NFTs even though I have bought sort of a lot more um, but yeah to own four of these and there's 5,000 of them so obviously don't own a uh, particularly big portion proportion of the uh, of the collection but uh, yeah, seems like this could do quite well. Um, oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, you can buy a Magic Eden NFT itself. So they've introduced their Magic Ticket project. So this is sort of a, uh, a project directly linked to them. So they're sort of promising uh, various uses for this in the future uh, you may get sort of exclusive well, I think they are doing exclusive uh, white lists to sort of various projects so you get guaranteed allocation uh, and there's been talks of, sort of various maybe discounts on other projects uh, they've had parties in real life where you have to be a, a holder to uh, sort of attend and VIP sections and that sort of thing so yeah, interesting sort of project. I thought considering uh, OpenSea doesn't really seem to be gaining a huge amount of traction, uh, I would sort of buy into this as well, sort of on the basis that um, Magic Eden continues to do well. Uh, I did get airdropped uh, one token for um, holding or for being a sort of consumer of Magic Eden for a fair while, so I got airdropped. A, uh, an OG ticket uh, there's three different tickets uh, normies, dgen and OG uh, sorry I got yeah, airdropped a dgen ticket and I've been buying sort of a few more of the uh, dgen tickets so this is the mid level um, yeah and there's as I say sort of standard ones and then OGs for the people that were using it sort of before me so yeah, it seems a, an interesting project, essentially a bet on Magic Eden itself, um, which they seem to be doing quite well. So, yeah, that's the sort of update, really. It's not gone as quite, as well as I'd hoped, really, um, but still fairly bullish. Uh, I think probably if I total up the um, other tokens that I own, so the sort of Nest token and sort of various... 
um, bits that have been airdropped as well as sort of the total value of the NFTs that I own, um, I would think I'm at about break even, which is not great considering the sort of time that I've put into researching the various projects and uh, sort of buying and selling. It's a, a bit of sort of social aspect, you chat to people on Discord and that sort of thing, but Probably the time could have been used better elsewhere. Um, but we'll see. I'm still sort of somewhat hopeful that uh, some of these projects can come off in the future. Uh, I mean, they essentially already have in the past. Uh, as I say, sort of the Nest Arcade was over two sol at one point. Um, the Vishvi was over three sol. So I've been buying quite a lot of these, quite a lot of some of the others. So if we could sort of get some decent uh, developments and sort of rise up, then I've got a fair amount of uh, some of these projects. So it could be a decent profit, but we'll have to wait. So that's the video. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and uh, like and subscribe. See you soon.